Valhalla! Wow, allt är så stort! Så fint! Odin! Odin är jag! Jag har fightats för dig! Jag har slagits för dig! Ragnar, mitt barn! Som jag har längtat efter dig! Jag har sett dig fightas tappert och modigt! Du har nästan förtjänat din plats i Valhalla! Du har bara en uppgift till nu! Ja, okej, okay. okej, okay, jag är redo! Jag är redo, Odin, för dig så är jag redo! Du måste offra en kaka till mig, din allfader! Så du en kaka? Ja, du måste offra en kaka till din gud, Odin, så att jag äntligen kan dricka mitt mjöd. Ja, jag har ingen kaka. Jag har mod, jag har blod, jag har svett. Men jag har, in jag har ingen kaka. Men det är en uråldrig tradition. Vi har gjort så här så länge vi har funnits ju. Jag, 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 kan, jag kan baka en kaka. Jag kan baka en kaka nu. Nu. Nej, min son. Det är för sent. Mitt mjöd kommer ju bli varmt innan jag får min kaka. Du måste till hell. Nej, 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 nej. nej. Stopp, 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 stopp. Va, Hugin? Komma till Valhalla utan en kaka. Det är ett brott mot rasagudarna. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. I hope you are ready to go to hell. Because today you are a fallen viking that fought honorably in fight, but still ended up in hell instead of Valhalla. And now you're trying to get back. I'm talking about the game Langskip. This game is live on Kickstarter right now. It's from 2 to 4 players, it's from 20 to 30 minutes, and it's from 8 years and above. It's a quite fast, quick and easy to learn game, so let's just take a look at it. The setup of this game is pretty straightforward. This is a 4 player setup. Each player should pick 2 cards. They should have a reference card. This is the draw pile. There is some mischief token. A space for the discard pile. Each player should choose their little viking and put it on number 2 on the board. During your turn, you get to play a card from your hand. Now, you have two choices. You can either play the card exactly as it says, or you can create some mischief and just make something up. Man, I get to move 20 spaces on this one. Mischief! If someone calls out mischief because they think that I was lying about what the card actually says, and it turns out that I was actually lying because I could not move 20 step, I do not get to perform that action. And the person that called out mischief gets a mischief token. But what if you're not lying and you actually want to do what says on the card? Well, if anybody thinks you're lying and they yell out mischief, but it turns out that you weren't lying at all, you actually were able to do this ability, well, the person that called out Mischief gets to move one spot back. But if you manage to make up some Mischief that is not completely ridiculous, that nobody understands is a lie, and no one calls you out on it, you get to complete that action and get a Mischief token. So once you have done your movement and your turn is over, you get to draw one more card from the drawing pile. But what if the drawing pile is empty and everything is in the discard pile? Well, then you have to wait until each player have played out all their cards. Reshuffle the deck. And then each player should take two new cards and get ready for the next turn. I have been speaking about the mischief tokens, but what are they actually used for? Well, these ones are used in combination with the Loki family card. The Loki family cards consist of, well, of course Loki, but also Hel, Fenrir, and Jormungandr. That's a hard name to pronounce. But anyway, you use these ones in combination with the mischief tokens. So, for example, if you want to play the Fenrir wolf card, and you have two tokens that you want to play, you get to move 
one space and two extra spaces for each mischief coin, giving you a movement of five. But if you play these coins and you lie, saying that you get to move, for example, two moves and three extra spaces for each token, and someone calls you out on this, you still lose your coins. But you have a lot of help from the gods on your way to Valhalla, because they really want you to make it. You have the Valkyries, for example. These ones will move you one step. Then you have Freya. This, she will move you, but force the other player to skip their turn if they're ahead of you. Then you have Thor. He will force the other ones to discard their hand, but also move you up the board. And then we have Odin. This one will move you and get you to look at the other player's hand. Each player will also get this nifty little reference card. This one is really useful if you want to get a quick overview of the cards in this game, because you, you're just not gonna know them all by heart at the start. So this one is a great little way from rookie players to really get into it fast and get a fast overview of the game. So there you have it people, that was Langskeep for you. This one was really quite funny, I, I like this one a lot. This one is almost like a little party game. You can get your family there, you can sit down with some friends and they will get into and learn this game quite fast. And the whole mischief element is quite cool actually, it just makes it even more funny because you really don't know who to trust when sitting around the table with this one. And it's actually quite hard to come up with small lies that doesn't seem completely ridiculous. So if you like this one, please check out their Kickstarter. It is live now. There's a link down here in the description. You should check that one out. If you like this video, please comment on it. Tell me what you think about the game. Or subscribe to this channel and I will get out more content to you next week. Until then, take care. Kanonskicka hit den där frisören nu! Var tar hon vägen? Jag har väntat i tusen år!